Bahrain is a country in the Persian Gulf. The island nation comprises of 51 natural islands and an additional 33 artificial islands centered around Bahrain Island, which makes up around 83% of the country's landmass. The country is situated between Qatari Peninsula and the northeastern coast of Saudi Arabia, to which is connected by a 25-kilometer, 16-mile King Fahd Causeway. Now, according to the 2010 consensus, uh, the um, Bahrain's population is over 1.2 million, of which around half are non-nationals. At 780 square kilometers in size, it, it size, it's the third largest nation in Asia after Maldives and Singapore. The capital and largest city is Manama. Uh, Bahrain has a universal health care system dating back to 1960. Government provided health care is free to Bahraini citizens and subsidized for non-Bahrainis. Health care expenditure accounted for around 4.5% of Bahrain's GDP, according to the World Health Organization. Now, Bahraini citizens had visa-free or visa-free on arrival access to 81 countries and territories, ranking the Bahraini passport 63rd best passport in the world as far as travel freedom. Now, uh, Bahrain does uh, not have visa-free travel to the Shenzhen countries. Uh, now, in this video, I'm going to give you the advantages and disadvantages of getting residency in Bahrain. Also, if you're making at least 150,000 U.S. dollars a year or have a net worth of at least 1 million U.S. dollars and want to learn more on how to legally get your taxes to zero or how to get a second passport in as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen here and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to the subscription button. And also, number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, just put it below in the comment section. I'll get back with you. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and hit the top bar of the page where it says apply with us. And then fill out the questions and, and then hit that little bar at the bottom that says send it to us so we can get back with you and see what we can do to help solve whatever problem that you got. We deal with a lot of citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world. All right, now the GDP per capita of Bahrain is uh, around 24,000 US dollars a year. The country also said it, it, it would approve a new investment law allowing 100% foreign ownership of companies by year end, similar to the type of program that the UAE has. Now, there are no taxes in Bahrain on income, sales, capital gains, or estates, with exception in limited circumstances to businesses, uh, local and foreign that operate in the oil and gas sector or derive profits from the extraction or refinement of fossil fuels, defined as hydrocarbons in Bahrain. Now, the standard rate of 5% VAT is applied to most domestic supplies of goods and services in Bahrain. Now, uh, the country of Bahrain does not permit dual citizenship except in rare cases, as I'm going to talk to you about. And a Bahraini citizen who acquires a foreign citizenship loses Bahraini citizenship. Now, Bahraini citizenship can be renounced. A uh, child born to a foreign father who himself was born in Bahrain and has a permanent resident permit or was born to unknown parents is a Bahraini citizen by birth. A child born to a Bahraini father acquires Bahraini citizenship by descent, irrespective of the nationality of the mother and irrespective of the place of birth. A child of Bahraini mother and a foreign father is not entitled to a Bahraini citizenship. If the father of a child of a Bahraini mother is unknown or stateless, irrespective of the place of birth, such child acquires Bahraini citizenship by descent from the mother. A foreign woman who marries a Bahraini man can apply for Bahraini citizenship. Uh, if a Bahraini woman marries a foreign man, she will lose her citizenship, but she can apply to keep it. The non-Bahraini uh, husband uh, cannot acquire Bahraini citizenship by marriage to a Bahraini woman. Uh, if they divorce and the former uh, Bahraini wife returns to Bahrain, she can apply to regain the Bahraini citizenship. Now, there are, uh, these are actually the terms and conditions uh, for those that want to obtain the Bahraini nationality. Uh, it has to be an applicant uh, who must present himself in person. Uh, an Arab uh, applicant must have legally and consecutively lived in Bahrain for 10 years. For non-Arabs, the time period is 20 years of living in Bahrain. The applicant must have a good command in, in the uh, Arabic language. Uh, and also he or she should own a property that's registered under his or her name in the Survey and Land Registration Bureau. 
and he or she uh, also must be of good moral character and he or she must be mentally competent. Now, I'm going to give you my evaluation of this program, and it is as follows. You know, I like the fact that Bahrain has no income tax. They've got no capital gains tax, no corporate income taxes, and no estate or inheritance tax. The health care is fairly good. English is widely spoken. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, if you're going to be eventually getting citizenship there, you're more than likely going to be wasting your time if that's what your, your plans are. Uh, I've heard of people who have been in Bahrain for 20 years and still have never gotten a passport. And uh, you're going to have to be able to speak uh, Arabic to actually get the passport and citizenship. And Bahrain does not allow uh, dual citizenship in most cases. So you would have to relinquish your old passport to get the Bahraini passport, uh, which is a really bad idea in Bahrain because the head of the country is a dictator. Uh, the Bahrain passport is not a good passport and nowhere near as good as uh, its neighbor, the UAE. Uh, and uh, both of the countries that won't allow dual citizenship anyway, so neither one of the UAE or Bahraini is a good choice. Uh, but if, if you're going there just to get residency uh, and not pay income taxes, that, that's, a, that's a good idea. But I always tell people, you, if you're going to go to a country, you ought to go there with expectations of getting a passport. Otherwise, to me, it's wasted time because uh, you want to try to get two and three passports. Uh, that's what gives you total freedom. Anyway, if you're making at least 150,000 US dollars a year, or you have a net worth of at least 1 million, and you would like to, uh, and that's 1 million US dollars, and you would like to legally get your taxes to zero, get a second passport as quick as three months, do three things, hit the subscribe button here to the right of your screen, uh, and you'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And I would like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, just put it in the comment section below, and I'll get back with you and see what I can do to help you. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and hit that top bar that says apply with us. A questionnaire form will come up, fill those questions out, and then hit the bottom of the questionnaire where it says send it to us, and we'll get back with you to see what we can do to help solve whatever problem you got. We deal with a lot of citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world that I think you'd be interested in learn about. And thanks for looking at our video, and I look forward to talking to you on the next one. Take care.